What's up y'all, Honey Love here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be talking about the top 10 benefits of Yoni Steaming. Let's get into it. So, Yoni Steaming is an indigenous practice that's been going on for centuries. It's a healing practice that especially focuses on the womb and the reproductive system and healing that aspect of your body. Yoni steaming is also often referred to as V steaming or vaginal steaming and because lately it's becoming a lot more popular again because these more natural practices are getting back into mainstream society, um, a lot of spas and salons and wellness centers and things like that actually offer yoni steaming as a service now. So if you look up wherever you live and yoni steaming, I'm sure you can find a place nearby that also offers it. But if you're like me and you like to you know, do things for yourself, do those do-it-yourself projects, self-care projects at home. I always just Yoni Steam at home and I've had no difficulties with doing that. And I will share how I do that. Typically, you can either buy someone's Yoni Steam herbs. Um, I can link some below that I recommend that I've utilized or you can just buy your own herbs and put together your own little mixture. I have done both. If I'm doing my own mixture at home, I will just use whatever herbs I have handy, which is often chamomile, um, roses, rose petals, lavender, um, peppermint, things like that, red raspberry leaf, uh, nettle is a good one. So just by looking at what herbs you want to incorporate in your yoni steam and do that because you know you can do as little as or as many as you want and you basically just boil a pot of water you add in the herbs you let that boil let that simmer for like 10 minutes or so soak up all that steam in the water and then you can either buy a yoni steam seat or you can use a bowl that you fill with the yoni steam and you just put in your toilet and you sit over it and wrap yourself in like a sheet or a towel um, if you don't feel comfortable putting it in the toilet, you can also put it on the floor and kind of like squat over it. I personally prefer doing it over my toilet because it's easier for me to sit for long periods of time in that way, like squatting over something for 30 minutes. You got some leg, some leg strength, okay? So I prefer it that way, but do whatever you feel comfortable with. And if you can, try and use a glass or a wooden bowl, preferably. But if you only have plastic, work with what you got. So when you're wrapped in that sheet, uh, the steam goes up directly into your vagina and your vagina literally just soaks it all up. The steam has all of the benefits of the herbs because it's been steeping in it and your reproductive system just directly soaks up all of those herbs and whatever healing benefits they come with when you are yoni steaming. When it comes to yoni steaming, the best time to do it is either after your period or before you're going to get your period. You don't want to yoni steam while you're bleeding. Eating. You don't want to yoni steam if you're pregnant because that can induce miscarriage and you also don't want to yoni steam if you have an IUD because this can again propel your uh, uterus to expel the IUD because it causes it to contract more than it may uh, if you didn't do the yoni steam. So just FYI being mindful about when you do yoni steam. The womb is a powerhouse and it is so powerful, so magical. It is directly the source of all of creation for life and for women. It's a very important space that we need to honor, we need to value, we need to treat with love. And for me, yoni steaming has become a way in which I do that and show my yoni, my vagina, my womb love. So let's get into the top 10 benefits of yoni steaming. The first benefit of yoni steaming is that it increases your fertility and enhances your ability to create, to get pregnant if that is your intent, but just in general, it helps enhance that creative uh, energy, that fertile energy to birth something for yourself. If that is a baby, it's a baby. If it's something more symbolic within your life, it's something more symbolic within your life. The second benefit of yoni steaming is that it aids in postpartum recovery and helps with that healing afterwards and just 
getting your reproductive system back on track, back balanced, because, you know, having a child, being pregnant, any of that can really just alter the, I don't, the balance that you have going on. And so yoni semen can really help with um, returning to that space. And this is beneficial for not only full-term pregnancies, but also if you've had a miscarriage or an abortion, it can be really helpful for just releasing everything fully as well as just helping your uterus contract back to its normal size. I started yoni steaming officially after I had Lyra, but it was a while after I had Lyra, um, after 18 months or so, because I just, the space that I was in, I guess postpartum, I didn't do a lot of the things that I wanted to do. It was really beneficial because I was having a lot of just pH balance issues after giving birth and especially with breastfeeding. My hormones just, it took a while for things to be back on track. And yoni steaming, it definitely got literally just my, uh, my womb, my yoni back on track. And if anything, it just elevated it to mom level, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> The third benefit of yoni steaming is it reduces your chances of having chronic yeast infections, bladder infections, any other vaginal issues like that. One of the things that I was struggling with was chronic yeast infections, actually. And this may be TMI, but I be, I'm, I'm a real, I'm a real girl. <laughs> I'm a real woman. So I don't want to say the B word, but. <laughs> You know, I'm a share, I'm gonna be honest, because people face these things. So yeah, I was having chronic yeast infections. And one thing, besides the hormone imbalances that was contributing to that, another thing was I was using a, a menstrual cup at the time. And I guess maybe I just wasn't washing it correctly. I would wash it after I finished my period and before I would start again, but I'd had it for a long time, like over a year. So I think maybe you're just supposed to replace them after a while. And every time after my period, like using the cup, I would get a yeast infection. And it was just like, to the point where I was like, I've had it. <laughs> and yoni steaming along with some other different tips and tricks <laughs> that I discovered, which I'll be doing a video on that in the future, like tips to keep your pH balance on a honey. But um, yoni steaming was one of the things that helped with bringing that back to balance. And I, since I've been yoni steaming regularly, because I do it about once every, I would say four to six weeks, honestly. You could probably do it way more, but that's how often I do. And I've had no issues thus far, no complaints. Like, homegirl is, we good over here, okay? <laughs> the fourth benefit of yoni steaming is that it increases your libido and your sexual energy yes yes that's really all i have to say about that it does that <laughs> the fifth benefit of yoni steaming is that it regulates your menstrual cycle and along with that it reduces a lot of the back pain, bloating, all of the bad side effects that you normally would experience with your menstrual cycle, it helps to reduce that significantly as long as you're doing it consistently. So if you're someone that struggles with bad cramps or any of that, yoni steaming can definitely be beneficial. And they say the best times to yoni steam are right before your period or right after. One of the things that the steam does is when it goes up into your uterus, it helps to remove all of that just extra gunk that kind of doesn't always come out every cycle so that when you do have your next period after yoni steaming sometimes you may notice your period can be a little bit heavier but that's only just because it's a lot of stuff that was left over still because sometimes just the act of bleeding won't get everything out and the steam helps to get everything um, because that heat it goes up and it kind of like thins it out to help everything kind of come on out <laughs> and that's another thing with yoni steaming is it overall helps with your blood flow and circulation so it especially benefits you in terms of your menstrual cycle and that flow as well the sixth benefit of yoni steaming is that it balances your pH yes I mean we kind of talked about this because I talked about how yoni steaming is 
really to help balance out your vagina but more specifically one of the things that it does is it balances your pH levels which you want to be balanced when it comes to the vagina we don't play with our pH levels <laughs> so overall yoni steaming it will help reduce odor and dryness and itchiness that can come along with um, an imbalanced pH levels the seventh benefit of yoni steaming is it can help heal or reduce the symptoms of different womb ailments such as PCOS, uh, endometriosis. If you have cysts or uterine fibroids on your womb, it can also help reduce those and get rid of those. So overall, yoni steaming is just really good for healing, cleansing, and just keeping the womb good. <laughs> Number eight is that yoni steaming reduces symptoms of menopause so just like with your period with your regular menstrual cycle um, yoni steaming can still help you after you finish having your menstrual cycle and you move on to menopause and it can help reduce a lot of those negative symptoms or the just parts of menopause that are not fun so the ninth benefit of yoni steaming is that it helps detox your body and especially your womb so I mentioned before how when you yoni steam, it gets all that extra gunk out of that may be sitting in the corners of your uterus. So yeah, it really helps with, especially women that may not have regular periods, it's a way to really get rid of all of that excess stuff. So it really helps detox your womb and detox your body overall. That being said, the tenth and final benefit is that yoni steaming helps you as a woman connect even deeper with your womb. I feel like every time I have a yoni steam, it's really like a self-care spiritual journey for myself. Like it's never just, oh, we about to just do a yoni steam. It's I'm gonna do a yoni steam, I'll light a candle, set an intention, really like speak into my steam. And as I'm steaming, I'm kind of like envisioning myself really taking in whatever it is that I'm trying to gain within my life and push out and birth whatever it is that I'm trying to manifest because I understand the power of the womb and I understand the power of yoni steaming. So for me, it's really a great way to connect even deeper with your womb space and your ability to create and manifest whatever you want. So that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching if you've made it this far. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment below if you've experienced yoni steaming and how you enjoy it. If you have any questions, also feel free to ask them down below and check out my other videos. Y'all know the drill at this point. <laughs> Peace out, y'all.